we just got to a nursery and I haven't gone plant shopping in Arizona yet so I am excited to see what kind of plants they have. I'm not trying to buy a plant right now I just want to see and I also need some soil to repot some of my house plants. It's a string of turtles for $19.99. Ooh. Cute. It's very full. They actually have a good plant selection. Ooh. Bathodophora. Bathodophora over here. Let's see how much that is. Oh, $49.99. And then over here is a Ficus Altissima. It's a really large one. I actually have not seen one this big. This is $2.29.99. Oh, then in Brazil. How much is that? 30 bucks. This is a Ficus Audrey for $169.99. That's expensive because it's not that big. Golodendrons, it's expensive. $29.99 for a four inch pot. Not very full. Sensitive plant for $12.99. It looks kind of butchered. We got some Zingonium. Oh, look! I remember when these were like really hard to find and then now they're kind of everywhere. $16.99. Well, do you remember the struggle with the old Ficus Audrey? I did revive that one before I sold it though. So they have a ton of Ficus Altissimas and Ficus Audrey's. Oh, I remember when these were really popular too. $24.99 for that. Oh wait. What's that? This is the print and panatum. That doesn't look like a print and panatum to me. There's actually a lot here. Okay, bunch of ZZ plants over here. And then Snake plants. Sansevieria Moonshine. Um, I sold mine, but this is six inch for $19.99. It's really short ones. And, all right, so this is an added Sonai for, holy crap, $70. And then this is a Philodendron Mikens for $100. And I've never heard this and that this picked this exotica called Secrets of Success, but it's $40. Then this is a Philodendron Neon for $30. Bucks. This is a Hocos Enjoy for $24.99. Honey, did you see the prices on the on that? This which is not normally that expensive, at least in California, is $70. This, which I have at home, is $100. This is a Hoya Cortesiae. Uh, $35. Philodendron Birkin with a lot of variegation. It's actually like one of the prettiest ones I've seen. For $35. And they have a lot of those. Oh, this is a Silver Sword Philodendron. For how much is this one? This is hundred and seventy dollars. Okay, Black ZZ. ZZ Raven. Isn't how it? much is that? No price. This is like really big, actually. For one seventy nine. Wait, what did I say? One. One sixty nine. Not very good. Right? Epic print and paninum. Yeah. So I said. How much is this? 
Where are the real prices on these? Oh. $44.99. This place has some uncommon plants, but they're very overpriced. At least compared to what I have in California. When you live in the desert. Once we move in, I might just get some, like one of our trips back to California, because we do visit. I might just go back to my favorite nurseries because it's not as expensive. Wow. How cool would that be in the yard? You want this? I have so much shade. It would definitely. I don't know. It's, eight, it's 900. It's 900. That's 900 dollars. Yeah, but it's such a cool Wow. It's so cool. I love this kind of snake plant. There's the price on this. So this one is 130. What? Yeah, it's usually pricey. Every the ones I've seen like smaller than this are like in the 70s, but like this one's much bigger. I might want this somewhere in our house. I don't know. It looks cool. Yeah. The steak plants are so low. And there are some um, moonshine planted areas back here. Okay, and now here are the succulents. Wow, <laughs> this is huge. Okay, string of pearls, which I sold mine. This is thirty nine ninety nine. It's pretty huge though. Donkey tails over here. How much are these? This is forty four ninety nine. And string of bananas for twenty bucks. String of arrows for nineteen ninety nine. At our first place, we had some fruitless olive trees. And we really liked it, so I think we'll get some more, but like this is the size right here, and these are like six hundred ninety nine which I think ours were like three hundred, maybe, and it was huge, okay, since coming home, I repotted two plants because of fungus gnats as i mentioned before, the reason why I needed all these grow lights is because it's not as bright in this apartment as it was in my last house. I repotted my Monstera deliciosa before we moved um, because it was just a propagation and um, I wasn't pleased with the soil because they didn't have the soil that I usually like. So I just had to go with it because I had already purchased it and we were moving soon. So I repotted it anyways, even though I didn't like the soil. I didn't want to film it because it was outside and freaking hot okay it's like 98 degrees today so it's not even that hot for arizona but i'm like running in and out of the apartment because i kept forgetting stuff and then i ended up watering the plant with this is one of the things i got besides soil mosquito bits i've never used these granules before but i just mixed a random amount in with water and then i watered it through so it can you know prevent more fungus gnats basically the only plants that had fungus gnats in it were the two plants i potted up with that soil before we moved yeah most of the plants over here are in a semi-hydro um besides uh, those two over there but everything else is in semi hydro and then over on the other side the only plants that are, are in soil are my Thai constellation monstera and then uh, two of my string of hearts and the variegated monstera but even though the other ones are in soil I didn't have fungus like any fungus gnats in that soil so I didn't repot those I only repotted the ones that were surrounded with fungus gnats so hopefully by repotting it in better draining soil and the mosquito watering with mosquito bits i hope it takes care of it but i guess i'll keep you updated let me know if you want to see an updated plant collection video and i can do that that's it thanks for watching bye <laughs>